Hey everyone, it's Corn Dog Hero with another Peer Pressure production, and this is a PSA, a public service announcement, so I can get the word out about a series called Travelers. Now, this is a joint venture between Canada's Showcase and Netflix, and I had to look that up. So, apparently, Showcase gets it first. They release it in Canada. They get about a four, five, six months lead. Then Netflix releases it to everyone else. That's how I found it. So it's one of those Canadian science fiction shows. And there have been a few of those. The last one I really enjoyed was Continuum. Uh, Travelers, like Continuum, is revolving around the concept of time travel. Uh, real quick, here's the premise. Um, sometime in the distant future, a couple hundred years out, um, things are really, really bad. And somehow we have managed to keep up with the tech, and we have discovered how to send people's consciousnesses back so that they could take over the bodies of people in the past. So what they try to do to be a little bit humane and fair, I suppose, is they only try to take over the bodies of people who are about to die because of some um, choice they're going to make. Well... Uh, that means they're kind of taken over when that person will have died anyway. So it, uh, there might be some philosophical ramifications. But the show is just a lot of fun. Um, and, and I really enjoy it. Now, it's not the kind of show. It's not super highbrow sci-fi. Uh, it's got kind of the uh, operative cell uh, team thing going on. You have the fish out of time. They've trained for this, but they're still not used to, like, you know, good food or, or you know, real food. Uh, a lot of quirky stuff, but um, some interesting conundrums come up. And just one of those shows that if you like sci-fi, if you're not afraid of the time travel kind of stuff, give it a shot. Now, the biggest actor in this is uh, going to be really recognizable and well-known to people because the same actor who plays Will from Will and Grace, Eric McCormick. Um, and when I found out that Will and Grace was coming back, I was like... I mean, he's going to drop Travelers, and I still don't have an answer. I've only just started uh, uh, season two. Uh, there are two seasons on Netflix now, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, so, yeah, public service announcement. Give Travelers a shot. Um, IMDb has user ratings for it at 8.1, so pretty solid there. And then Rotten Tomatoes has the audience score at a 96%. So, again, this isn't a review. I already like it. I'm trying to get the word out for people who are looking for something. Uh, for me, when I'm down in my office messing with my magic cards or maybe playing a video game, it's the kind of show that I like to watch and kind of listen to in the background because it's not so heavy or detailed that I have to watch every second of it. It's not, to me, like a Game of Thrones or a Walking Dead, uh, but it's still good and solid. I like the characters. I like the predicaments. I like the unique take on things. Um... And so it, it keeps me interested. It's it's a show that more people should give a shot to and, and really watch. So, again, Travelers on Netflix um, or Showcase if you're in Canada. But I think all my uh, viewers so far are in the U.S. and people I know. So uh, there it is. Thank you much. Please like or subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let me know if you want me to do more of these public service announcements. Take care, everyone.